five this morning, Nina Joint School District officials voted to shut down a school last night. Local 5's Paul Stino has the reaction from the community. A final plea to save their school. Nina with pride. We hear it, we see it, we live it. And what I hear this is doing to our community is heartbreak. But I do ask that you listen to the heart of the parents and the teachers here. We absolutely do not want to be disbanded. The closure of Hoover Elementary is one of the items on the school district's list of boundary revisions. If Hoover closed, those students would go to Horace Mann, Tuller, and Coolidge Elementaries. Some Lakeview Elementary students would also go to Coolidge to reduce overcrowding at Lakeview. Tuesday night, the Board of Education discussing whether to approve these boundary adjustments. And make sure there's comfortability in the community with things that are happening. And I feel like in the community there's a bit of resistance to that. Um, and the comfortability is not there at this point. Some administrators and board members said that approving the boundary adjustments had to be done to address growing student populations in some parts of the district and to give students the best shot at success. And I would like us to spend more time dreaming about what happens inside of our buildings rather than um, how we're going to maneuver students to get them to the facilities that we have. So I would encourage us not to wait. I would encourage us to think about what the possibilities are. The boundary adjustments passing by the slimmest of margins, five to four. Around 40 people came out to the meeting to encourage the Board of Education to vote down the boundary adjustments and save Hoover Elementary. Some visibly emotional after the final vote. I think there is something to be said for smaller schools. There, there's just a an element of community that, that you lose in larger schools. You just do. Please know that we are going to do our best for, for kids no matter what. Uh, that has always been the primary focus of our school board. In Nina, Paul Stino, Local 5 News.